Hi guys. Peter Schiff, Lindsey Williams, and Ron Paul have all said that this economic collapse could be a slow, long, drawn-out process, like a death by a thousand paper cuts type of collapse. And basically what that means is that we'll lose more and more purchasing power with our money and things will seem more and more expensive. Uh, Lindsey Williams even went as far to say that we won't be able to afford the food that will be readily available in the stores because the inflation will be so high. He thinks that people will be starving to death because they simply can't purchase food anymore. So I really believe these guys. It very well could unfold this way. I think we're seeing some um, echoes of an upcoming collapse just going on with the, all the screwy business with the euro. But what I want to do is in a few videos, instead of just sitting here repeating news to you guys, I really hate doing that. I, I want to teach you guys something. Um, I'm a network auditor, which basically means that I'm a professional hacker and companies pay me to come in and find exploits in their networks and basically pay me to fix the exploits in their networks and vulnerabilities. And basically what I'll show you how to do is how you can get free internet access at home just using a um, small amount of resources in case you can't afford internet or need to get online anonymously. Or even if you want to use something like Magic Jack and connect anonymously and you can have almost an anonymous telephone if you pay for Magic Jack with cash. And I want to show you how to do that today. So without further ado, let's get to the technical details. Um, I'll try to put a few links in my information box, any kind of helpful links uh, to sources where you can buy some of this equipment. It's relatively easy to do, but you may want a little bit of computer experience. Uh, so anyhow, without further ado, here we go. Okay, what I have here is two routers, one, two, um, and these are Buffalo routers. They're WHRHP G54 routers. That's the model number. And I have two of them because uh, one of them is my home network wireless right here. And that has the antenna on it. And the other one is my outbound wireless client connection, which is right here. This is the one that goes about four miles from my house. And I have this wired up through this um, RP SMA connector through this wire to an amplifier. Now you don't necessarily need an amplifier with these routers, but because I'm a complete nerd and dork at heart, I just had to have one and that's what I bought. Basically these routers are about uh, give or, about 60 bucks. Um, I bought them from Newegg.com. I don't endorse the company. It's just where I bought them from. Uh, it's a great place, I feel, to buy a lot of computer hardware. And um, this, this um, amplifier I bought from a company called Fabcore which makes amplifiers for 2.4 gigahertz, which is exactly what uh, wireless G networks use. I have the two wires connected through a simple uh, ethernet cable uh, to one another. That way they can communicate with one another. I have this one set up as a wireless client. This one set up as a wireless access point. And you just need the 192.168.1.1 or whatever your choice of local IP addresses that you choose to have. Basically, this one has to be set up as a wireless client so that you can uh, receive the signal from far away. This one you need transmitting to your wireless adapters. Uh, I'll try to lay out a little bit of um, technical specifications in my information box and have some links for some of you that have no clue about what I'm talking about, but some of you may uh, be a little more technically inclined to be able to do this. Uh, it's important to have the correct connectors with this. You don't want to do any uh, wiring so you don't get any, uh, or like splicing and fudgy connections so you don't get any signal loss. Uh, on this side, this is what goes to my external antenna, which I'll be showing you and hopefully not killing myself on my roof um, in just a moment here. So anyhow, you can set this one. Uh, your, uh, you can even set home security up on your network. Uh, any password you choose under, under the WPA encryption or WPA2, whatever you choose. You can even use WEP, but it's kind of weak. Um, and basically have a home network for free. You can just walk around your house with a laptop all you like and feed off a wireless connection that's about four miles from your home. It's perfectly legal to do so long as there's no disclaimers at the public hotspot that says that you have to be at a restaurant or at a store or whatever to use it. Many hotspots are just free and open. It says public Wi-Fi. That's open season. You can use it all you like. You can use any type of uh, device that you like on the internet uh, with it, such as Magic Jack. Uh, get your free phone calls. You can use FTP. You can communicate just like you always have. And if you're using a anonymous email account or a Yahoo-based email account or Gmail, uh, you basically are using a web-based email service, so you don't need to connect to any specific ISP, uh, POP3, or SMTP server. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and show you the antenna and 
pray for me so I don't die up there on the roof. Don't fall. Yeah! All right, here's my 2.4 gigahertz parabolic grid Wi-Fi antenna. This thing's getting me about a four mile range and it costs around, I think about $65 on eBay or Elcom.com uh, to purchase. And I have it connected here to that wire which is a LMR, I believe it's an LMR 30 um, secure wire uh, that costs around $16 on eBay or so. And that goes on down into my room with them routers. And basically I'm getting great internet connection. I guess I'm downloading about 100K a second. And I can move this antenna, I have that on like a satellite dish mount, I can move it um, anywhere except backwards where my chimney is. And it gives me about a well over 180 degrees uh, rotation and I can pick up any type of Wi-Fi connection uh, within that area that is open and available and legal for me to connect to. If you choose to get on Wi-Fi that's illegal, well that's your business, but I like to do the legal route and I'm not an idiot idiot to say that I do illegal Wi-Fi here on YouTube with thousands of people watching. Duh. Okay, so anyway, my hotspot, I don't even think I can get to it on this camera. It is so far down there. Um, if you can see that uh, large building almost in the middle of your screen, it is well past that point. There's an antenna way back behind it. It's around where that antenna is, if you can even see that. I'm not sure. It's it's approximately four miles away, and I get 100k a second. Can't complain. It's free, and it's perfectly legal for me to do. Uh, I even asked the manager of the place if I could have it. So um, you, you usually don't need to do that if you're just accessing a local restaurant or something like that in your area. All right, guys. A couple other things. Those routers were flashed with DDWRT firmware, which is basically a open source project firmware that is, there's people developing, which uh, greatly enhances the functionality of any Broadcom type of router. You can use their little list there to see if your router is compatible with it. Um, however, I will state that there that those Buffalo routers that I have are much better and very compatible with that type of firmware. There's some types of routers like the Linksys routers that may have a little bit of trouble and you might have to do a couple funny things to get it to flash correctly and you may not want to get into all that. But those Buffalo routers pretty much out of the box are ready to go for that firmware and they work fantastic with it. Also those Buffalo routers have their own built-in amplifiers. I'm just a dork and I needed to amplify mine even more just to be a man. But anyhow, it works really well. Um, it, you can also use this uh, type of information to communicate with, locally with somebody. If you each have a cabin out in the forest or a neighbor in the suburbs, you can have antennas pointing at one another and basically share a local network if you wish to. Uh, also, it's great for sharing an internet connection between many houses. If you have one neighbor that everybody wants to give five bucks a month to and everybody else sets up directional antennas all pointing at their home, then this one person can have an omnidirectional antenna in their home and everyone will have a great connection around them. So anyway, I know that I'll get a few questions on this. I'll try to make up a very generic thing to email back to people to help them uh, and give as many technical details as I can. It's a lot simpler than it may sound. Uh, you don't have to be an expert to set this up. Like I said, it might help to have a little bit of technical background, but I really feel it can help a lot of people out, especially if the funds start drying up and the economic collapse is, you know, just slowly rolling in and nobody can afford anything anymore. You know, it might be a great way to pick up internet. Uh, like, like I was showing you outside, I have a 180 degree rotation at least on that antenna. There's probably about 12 places I can get free internet from uh, within my range. So more than likely, if half of those go down, I'll still be able to pick up free internet if I can no longer afford my regular internet connection. And just for fun, the very video that you're watching now, I uploaded through that antenna. Till next time, thank you.